I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is a huge B&M haul. I've got so much to show you so it's going to be probably quite a long video. So I've got things all around me from B&M and before I get into it though I've said hello haven't I? I've said hello and welcome along. Look I've got to do my mug of the day and it is this gorgeous mug that I think I showed you last week actually and last week's video oh no i've forgotten to do my i've done one hand with nails one hand with nails i put nail varnish on one hand and not the other oh i forgot is that you don't care do you but i'll, I'll do that one in a second anyway back to the mug of the day not nail varnish of the day um my mug of the day and i got this recently in a charity shop it was only two pounds and it's just so cute so it's got loads of little people on it having a lovely time they were playing the guitar there somebody else is uh doing some some yoga or something i don't know someone's having a little dance someone else is there having a good time this lady's got her dog looks a bit like rufus but isn't that gorgeous uh the maker's tea too and i've got a fruit tea i think it's like a raspberry or a i don't know a black currenty fruit tea in my mug of the day i made this ages ago this tea um so it's probably gone cold it is cold i didn't i didn't drink it because i've been faffing around i've been putting on false eyelashes and all sorts right so i'll put this down here um, I'm going to get into my B&M haul. I've got this massive bag, so I don't know. Oh, so I think it's too big to put on my lap. I'll try, though. No, it's too big. I'm just going to get things out of the bag because otherwise it just fall over. It's one of them, I don't know, they had these special bags. It's massive. It's really good, actually, going to be like a, I can use it for like a laundry bag. So the bag that I bought is um, going to be handy. So I'll start off with um, some coffee. So I picked these up. I've been a couple of times to be in and I went back this morning because I wanted to have a look at the plant section, but I didn't find any lovely ones. So I didn't get any plants, but I found these. I got some Costa coffee pods. These were two pounds each. And uh, I do like a Costa coffee coffee. <laughs> so two pounds each, there's 10 in there. They're the compatible with Nespresso machine ones. I normally get the little ones uh, from Lidl, obviously, it's the little ones, but I thought I'd uh, retry these. So I got, what's this one? Signature Blend, Strength 8, and this is a Warming Blend, Strength 10. So I think Lee will probably, Lee likes the stronger coffee, so he'll probably want the number 10s. I've also got some kitchen roll. I think these were £3.50 or something like that. Most of the prices are on B&M things, luckily. So I did a home bargains haul recently and I, I didn't know any of the prices. So I was really sorry. I was like guesstimating. I knew some of them, but most of the B&M things have prices on apart from these. I think they were £3 or £3.50. Just some kitchen roll because I do use kitchen roll a lot. And I got my friend Claire some presents from B&M and I know she'll love these. So Claire, if you're watching, Claire and Kim, hello. But you can't watch this video because your birthday's coming up and you might see your presents. So if they are watching, hello, that's lovely of you, but switch this one off because these are your presents. So I got Claire some lovely little bits. I think she's going to love um, these gifts. So it's her birthday very soon in the next few days once this video goes out. And I got her a few things in this boho range. It's, um, it's really lovely. And I think she's going to like this little picnic blanket thing. So it says Boho Garden. It was £8. It says Fleece Picnic Blanket. Ideal for picnics, protecting car seats and car boot liner. Water resistant backing. Folds away with carry handles. So I think she's going to love this to use in her garden or to take down to the beach to have a little picnic. But it's just really pretty and quite useful. Even if you just, you know, she had it in her car to protect her car. So I got her a few things that would kind of match. So I got her this little, yeah, this little picnic blanket thing that you sit on and that was yeah eight pounds for that i also picked up these little candles for my friend claire as well these one pound fifty they were reduced from three pounds so i thought i would um get these and chuck them in her little gifts as well because it's part of the same range so i think she's uh, gonna like these she loves a candle so one pound fifty for the three which is really good and they are scented ones they smell really nice and you've got floral, 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 floral burst, floral meadow and summer breeze. So some candles as well. I got her some reusable ice cubes so she can just chuck those in the freezer and they're quite handy. I've never actually used these myself, but I know that Claire does because she's got these. So I thought I'd grab her some more. These are just the clear ones. £2.50 for those. Thought they'd come in handy with the whole, you know, picnic on the beach theme. And then I got her these little pineapple 
glasses. They're actually plastic, so perfect for picnics and to drink in the garden or to take down to the beach. They're four pounds each, so I've got one for Claire and one for Kim. Little pineapples, there's a straw in them as well, and they love a pina colada, so it's perfect. You open up there, so you put your drink in, and you've got a straw, and then you twist it back here. So some really cute little drinking cups. I do like these. They had um, the, like a pineapple drinks dispenser. Sorry, my phone just went off. Pineapple drinks dispenser as well, which was quite nice. I think that was 15 pounds, but that might be glass. But these are, yeah, these are plastic. It's from the Summer Living Range, pineapple glass. You're not using a microwave, dishwasher, hand wash only wash before first use. So I got two of those little lovely pineapple drinking cups. And I think B&M is brilliant for presents actually. So for birthday presents or, you know, for any type of gifts, I think everything is such good quality. So I think she's gonna love those. And I also got this candle. It's one of those LED candles. And I think it looks really realistic, just the outside, because it says on here, Boho Soul Natural Grass LED Candle. But it looks like it's wax on the outside and it's got this lovely grass all inside um so i've got some proper candles that you like that have different bits of i think there's some like flowers and things inside there maybe i think those are orange peels or something so bits of uh things that have been melted in the wax but this one has got some grass and it, it's on a timer as well which i think is brilliant so you just kind of set it to come on in the evening and it'll come on and stay on i think it's for about six hours so i need to add some batteries for six pounds that's the top of it so just a tiny little black um, wick so maybe it'll just glow rather than have anything at the top um, I do have some other ones that have a little wick that lights up and they look quite realistic so I'm hoping that will look good and we'll probably use this for our garden party so you might know if you're new to my channel you might not know what I'm talking about but we uh, me and Lee got married in December and we went abroad and got married and it was lovely um, but we're having a party in the summer so kind of getting all prepared for that I picked up all the plates and napkins and paper straws so I kind of got everything like that so I'm going to show you everything we're going to be using for our little party so I've got 100 paper straws so I'm going to put those um outside in a little pot so people can help themselves 100 in there for £1.50 I got some napkins as well I just went for plain rather than they had some pink ones and foil ones and lovely napkins but I just thought I'd get some basic napkins because they look quite nice as well so these were £2 um, for 100 napkins so I've got two of those 200 napkins should hopefully be enough um we're having like a little buffet thing for our party so i grabbed those napkins and then i've got some paper plates these were the best ones that i saw i've used these before actually these little paper plates they're really sturdy and they're just quite pretty they say yay on them so i got them for a hendu lisa's hendu last year and we had some left over and i thought actually they're perfect because they're really sturdy and um, quite pretty as well. So I just grabbed these. They were £2.50 for 15 party plates. Obviously you can get them a bit cheaper, but I just really liked, um, I liked these ones. So I thought I would get them instead of just plain ones because they can be a bit thinner. So £2.50 for 15 plates. So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots of those. So obviously you can do it cheaper, but I uh, these are such good quality. I thought I would get them. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of paper plates with yay on them for our party. We also picked up these toothpicks. So they're the same same thing, you know, the B&M Catering Central Supplies. £1.50 for three packs and there's three times 200, so loads of toothpicks. And inside they have different lids. You've got red, black and grey. And that's what they look like. So just little pots. I have one of the, um, you know, like the basic toothpicks you get they're in sort of blue there's a blue top and a blue bottom and it's just they're just two kind of lids aren't they well I always open them up my dad always needs a toothpick so when he's here he's always after toothpicks so we've got those in our cupboard I always open them up and they all fall out and then you try and put the lid back on it's a bit awkward so hopefully these would be a bit easier these um bamboo toothpicks yeah and they were £1.50 and I thought I would do little goodie bags for the kids that are coming to our party and these are £2.50 for 10 so I have some left over which is fine because they're quite nice um sizes for little gifts aren't they so all different colors you've got green i think that's kind of a pinky peach isn't it a pinky peach a blue and a yellow oh there's purple in there as well so 10 all together in here uh so i'll make these up i've got some little sweets and some chocolates and i'll probably get a few other bits and bobs that i need to pick up 
um, to put in these little bags. So £2.50 each. I need to check how many kids are coming actually and then I'll make up the little bags. And I got to put in them some of these balls. £5 for all of these, 12 pack animal balls. So I thought I could just put them, you know, in each bag along with everything else and then they have something you know to squish and play with but they're cute aren't they these little balls there's a little football one here so I'll do Toby a little treat bag as well and there's all kinds of different ones I think that's a pig uh, oh no it's not what is that I don't know there's a there's a frog or a ninja turtle there is a lion I think he's a panda and then some other non-identifiable things but they're just cute little animal balls so they will go in the treat bags as well they were five pounds so i thought that was really good so if you do need any like party bag things i think that's great because it's quite a good you know good thing to squish a little fiddle toy and then i picked up this little time to celebrate party banner and it was one pound 49 and then everything else oh and i've got some bigger things to show you at the end but that's kind of all the um party supplies type of things you know the plates and the napkins toothpicks um that's all of that kind of thing that we're going to be using for the party and then i got some of these um mini freezer blocks these are brilliant for pack lunches so i've been giving uh, toby a couple of these in his pack lunch when he takes it off to school but they're just so good to put in you know if you take a little lunch or you go off somewhere just to have it to keep your food or your drink cool because it's been so warm recently these were three pounds for the whole lot so there is i think there's eight in here which is um which is brilliant i did have some pink ones i think i've got two or three of them left so i thought i'd grab some blue ones um to use because they're just so handy these freezer blocks aren't they i think they're i think they're great so three pounds for those and i picked up this little jar it was one pound fifty just says the organized kitchen um glass clip lock jar so i'll probably put um jam inside here because it was quite cute if you decant your jam into a little jar like this will look really posh and, and lovely so that's what i plan to do so I thought I would grab one of those, put the strawberry jam inside it. So yeah, £1.50 for this little jam jar. And then I've got a couple of other bits here, some random things really, some multi-surface wipes. These are biodegradable and I think these were about a pound or £1.50, which is really good because the biodegradable ones were quite expensive for a while. So these were reasonably priced. So I grabbed those and they are, what scents? Oh, see? Samphire and Juniper. Let's have a smell. Made from 100% biodegradable plant wipes. They smell lovely, they smell very clean. Obviously they wouldn't they're cleaning wipes. They smell really fresh. Rufus is just, um, come, he's outside the door there, Rufus the dog. So some wipes, oh, that not very interesting. I also picked up this little um, bubble tea, calming pillow mist. And I think this was about 50p or 49p. I thought I would grab that so we can spray in our pillows in the evening before we go to sleep. I do like bubble tea products. It just says Neroli and Tangerine essential oils, calming pillow mist. For a good night's sleep, spray your pillow with a delicate fragrance that will help you sleep. So let's have a little spray. I'm spraying it on my hand. Do you reckon that's okay? I'm sure it is. That smells really nice. Smells kind of like baby products, but just a really nice, gentle scent. So yeah, hopefully that'll be good and help us sleep a little pillow spray. I also picked up a birthday card. Well, I got two, but I've used one of them. These are just great to have in your drawer in case you forget someone's birthday and then all of a sudden you just need to grab a card. 59p. And I got these lovely tea lights as well. They were two pounds. I think they're a copy of the Jo Malone ones. They say luxury fragrance, number one, pomegranate, 12 tea light candles and they were two pounds they look really posh i think don't they they look lovely so two pounds for those i can't really smell them i can just smell that lovely thing on my wrist i'll try should i try and open them up let me just, oh here we go hang on let's have a whiff can i smell you oh they smell really good can you have a smell in there can you smell that they smell really nice I do like a tea light candle. I find them not as overpowering. You know, sometimes candles are lovely and then sometimes they can just be a bit too much, but tea lights are always perfect, aren't they? Right, I'm onto my last few things and I went purposely to get them because I needed some 
like containers to put drinks in for our little party. So we're going to be filling these up. I'll show you in a second with uh, drinks and, and ice so people can help themselves. But I've got another one of these um, hanging basket brackets. I needed one more because we're just going to add another hanging basket to the other side. And I wanted them to kind of match. So I didn't have, I had some smaller white ones, which we'll probably use for a shelf. But these, um, I needed another black metal one to match and this looked perfect it was four pounds and it just says on here scroll basket bracket it holds up to 14 inch baskets and it was four pounds and it says mason and jones they actually had some really nice garden stuff i think it's just the b&m make but it was mason and jones they had like little shelves and just really nice things actually i did look at them but i thought no i'm not going to get them but they did yeah if you need some kind of uh I don't know, shelves or trellis or things like that for your garden. They had this lovely garden, um, like a sort of mini, what they call little um, shelves, but they're like a step ladder. They're sort of they're really nice. I got a rustic brown wood um, and that was £30. So I did look at that, but I've gone for, I've got some little secondhand step ladders I'm going to be using to put plants on and, and then sort of decorate to make look pretty. But yeah, if you do need anything like that, they had a lovely you know, load of things in their garden section. So four pounds for my metal basket bracket. So we've got that. And then the final things I'm gonna show you are down here. So these are the citronella candles. I bought these before and they last ages. They were on offer. So I went in to get, oh, I'll show you these, but I went in to get basically these big drinks, you know, these big galvanized container things and a couple of plant pots so i saw these on offer from seven pounds down to three so i thought i'd grab some and we can use them to keep the bugs away so they're just lovely pots and then afterwards i can use them as plant pots flowers and garden i love this range like i've bought quite a lot from b m that have the same design on them and everything's still i'm still using it i think it looks lovely it's kind of, they've kind of gone a bit more rusticy. i really like them just had to put some holes in the bottom and use them as planters but yeah they're really lovely so i got some candles these were down no they were four pounds sorry i don't know if i said three down to four pounds from seven citronella candles um they just say on here 50 hours burn time outdoor use only and you know they're normally yellow so they had yellow ones and they had white ones so i thought actually i prefer just the plain white on the inside so i grabbed three of those to dot around um put them you know on the table so hopefully keep some of the bugs away but i really like them really like these little pots and yeah four pounds each for those which is great value because obviously they're candle and a little bucket they're really cute and my last few things like i said i went in to get those drinks containers and these were down to eight pounds so I picked up two of these galvanized tall buckets and I'm going to put a hole in the bottom and put some plants in here, maybe like a, a rose bush or something or just a rose. I've got a couple that I need to um, take out of their pots and these are a lot bigger. So I shall do that already for our party. Um, so these were eight pounds. Oh, it's echoing, isn't it? Through here. Hello. So eight pounds reduced from 12. And they just say on here, galvanised tool bucket for decorative use only. This is a metal, metal, metal products and may have sharp edges. Handle with care. I will thank you, B&M. The lovely rope handles. They're nice and sturdy and strong. I've had a couple of these for two, I think it's two years and they're still brilliant. So I grabbed two, they were down to eight pounds. And then my final things in this B&M haul are these huge galvanised um drinks bucket so one of them says yeah galvanized drinks buckets 14 pounds these weren't on offer this one says beer beer so obviously gonna some, put some beer in here so nice and big just shove loads of ice in there and water and then put some beer in here so people can just grab it so we'll just refill this but it's just i like the look of these and they're just going to be you know make a little display with drinks and these will be on the floor so everyone can just you know help themselves to some beer nice and big that's quite nice anyway isn't it to to kind of keep if you have a barbecue or go on a little not a picnic because it's a bit excessive isn't it but yeah if you had a little picnic in the garden or a little party it's really handy and um it's great when people just hand themselves hand themselves help themselves if you have people over they can just you know grab it out of the the bucket rather than you know saying can i have a drink or going to the fridge you can just go yep 
out of the bucket. And then this one says drinks. Ideally, oh, hello, ideally, oh, sorry, flowers. I would have liked two drinks ones, but then you had this and then you had beer. So I was very lucky to actually get the ones that I wanted. This is exactly the same size, but it says drinks on it, on the back as well. And it's the same, 14 pounds, same as the other one, but it obviously says drinks instead. Love that. So perfect for our little party. I was looking at lots of um, secondhand galvanised trough things and planters, but they were so expensive. They were around £30 each secondhand. So, yeah, I thought I'd just go to B&M because I, I had seen them before and I was hoping to get the drinks one. So I got what I went for and that's still a really good price for what it is. And it's brand new as well. So that is everything in my B&M haul. I really hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed seeing everything. Sorry if it was a bit long. Um, I've got all sorts of things. I now need to put everything away and wrap up my friend Claire's presents. I think she's gonna love them though. I just wanted to get a little like theme. So with the picnic blanket and the drinks and little candles and ice cubes, I think she's gonna, I think she's going to love that. I hope so anyway. I'm going to go now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for staying to the end. Hopefully these lashes have stayed on. They might look a bit long. They're the um, stick on one. So I'll just shove them on because my lashes were looking. I need to get the lady to do my lashes again. But they weren't looking very good. So hopefully they, they look all right on here. Um, but yeah, let me know your favourite item. If you have a favourite. I love the, the buckets and... Yeah, really nice. I love the little gifts, my friend. And I don't know, this is good. So yeah, if you have an item that you like the most, add it below. And I'll see you next week. I've got some videos coming up. I'm going to try and film them in advance, actually. See if I can get them all done. I've got a charity shop haul coming up, car boot sale haul. And uh, I got loads of stuff for free from a car boot sale. So I'm going to try and do those videos in the next few weeks uh, to get them all done. Um, so you're all ready. They're all done because uh, I've got my auntie Sue coming over from Australia. We've got family coming up. So I'm kind of freeing up those uh, these weeks. This is irrelevant. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. But anyway, I've said it now. So yeah, uh, next video will be charity shop haul. And after that, car boot sale haul. So I hope you've enjoyed those as well. Um, I'll link my videos that I filmed recently. I'll put them in the description box. So there was a charity shop haul. There was a home bargains haul and some other stuff so i'll link them below come over to instagram as well if you're on there i'm kate mccabe and my house account is kate's georgian home which i'll also link below if you want to come and say hi on there i'll see you next friday at two o'clock take care and have a lovely weekend Bye bye